All in all, this is a cute face though. I'm never gonna hold you. She's giving it to the girls. Just like your man. Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Chimima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, um, we are going to be testing out the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. Okay, now when I first saw the promo for this video, I was like, wait a minute. Makeup Shayla and Danessa Myricks? Oh my God. Oh my God. When I saw the Danessa, I said, I'm getting it. I'm getting my hands on this foundation, y'all, because I already have some of her products. She is a phenomenal makeup artist. Like, her work is immaculate. She's all about glowy skin, zooey, bright. Oh, my God. I, I love her work. She's amazing. And I was like, Danessa got her stamp on this? I'm finna try, okay? I'm finna try it. So, I went to Ulta. I went to Ulta for a completely different reason. And then right when I got there, they were literally putting these out on display. So I was like, let me hop over to Makeup Shayla's uh, channel and see what foundation sh shade that she uses. So I can just scoop it up, okay? Cause I didn't have time to be mixing and matching and trying to find my shade, child. Not in this corona, okay? In this, in this uh, panoramic, um, we can't be matching our, our foundation to our skin tone. Like, so I actually have no idea if this is gonna match me or not. I literally bought this weeks ago and it's been sitting, picking up dust, waiting for me to film. So here we go. So I looked on her video and I saw that she was using the shade Rich 26. Um, and we share a lot of the same foundation shades. We both have the same yellow, warm, golden undertone. So I'm hoping that this is the one, honey. Now y'all know my chest is lighter than my face. So I usually match to my chest. Um, but my chest isn't even showing today. So <laughs> I mean, it's a slight little peak. Like, <laughs> but just in case this foundation looks extra crazy, that is the reason why. So I've also been seeing Tasha use this. And she's been mixing hers with the... Uh... Ooh, it's looking a little light. And I saw that she's been using hers with um, the Pat McGrath foundation, which I don't have, which I want. So I'm like, I might treat myself to her foundation. Like, I really want it. So I might do that. But hey, this is looking real light. Oh my God. Okay, let's read the claims on the box. We're just gonna have to make it work. <laughs> um, so it says it's a medium to full coverage foundation. Um, Soft focus, blah, blah, blah. Anything else? Infused with hyaluronic acid, that's nice. Vitamin E and glycerin. Okay, so we're looking for a natural finish foundation, hydrates skin and blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focus look. That is everything that I'm here for, okay? Yes, I am here for all of it. So let's just get into it, okay? Y'all, this looks real light. I'm praying it's just the... Ooh. I can make it work, but um, I definitely could have increased the shade, okay? Because, um, you know, we're all in, in a peninsula, so we're not getting the sun that we usually get. Um, and that should have been factored in, and it was not. So, I'm going to have to go to Ulta and get this... Um, Yeah, it's too light. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is definitely too light. This is not even like my winter shade. One light to medium layer is usually like perfect for me. Um, so I feel like I can finesse this foundation with that. If I do any more layers, child, I'm gonna look crazy. Shayla, this your color? This must be Shayla, Shayla's uh, like true winter shade. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go back and get my correct shade. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like this because I don't want to like, I can finesse this. I don't wanna look crazy. This is finessable. If I do any more layers, okay? It's not like I'm going outside anyways, so y'all will be okay. <laughs> Auntie Pat, where's your concealer, sis? Maybe I should cream contour. I'm going to cream contour a bit. And I'm gonna use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Dark 205 Neutral. And see how easy they blend. Okay, so far no problems. Jimmy, do not get product into your hair. Oh my God. So they're saying it's a natural luminous finish. And so far I'm not getting that. I don't know if it's because I used a light layer or what the reason is, but I really feel like, um, I feel like they just emphasize my double chin more. But my skin, I feel like it's, it's feeling pretty matte. I mean, it's still blending, but I'm not really seeing any luminosity. Do y'all see luminosity? The skin still looks good though. And that's on period. That's on period. Oh, I haven't cream contoured in so long i miss it i need to go back to doing that for real over here skimming steps because i'm lazy and it really does make a difference it's such a flawless way to add color and shape back to your face and because it's liquid it just blends out seamlessly love that for me love that for me where is auntie pat's concealer Okay, well, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way uh, Too Faced Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm gonna use that as my base. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. First of all, is it Christmas yet? I'm ready for Christmas to come back. <laughs> <laughs> like girl then I'm gonna go and top it with my I don't know how to say this causes 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 cos mm, girl this concealer <laughs> Hold on up. right here just to brighten that up a little bit brighten the face honey Where are my sponges? Oh my God. Um, but so far, everything is like blending beautifully into the foundation. Like, oh my God. You see how that just is like, <sighs> became one after like three little blendy uh, pats? Yeah. Oh my God. You know, I used to be one of those people that never wore foundation. And once I started wearing it, I could immediately see the difference in my face. So even if my skin is clear and I'm not necessarily using it as, you know, a, a way to cover blemishes or anything, just having that formula as a base on the face to build your other creams on, it's just beautiful. Like, Oh, that is so gorgeous. Oh my God. And it's just, I don't know, like primer is amazing for the foundation. And the foundation is just amazing 
for the concealer and other like cream complexion products. And I just feel like it is layered, like and it just makes the perfect like burger, the perfect sandwich. You got the buns, okay? You got the outside, the primer and the powder, the outsides. And then you got the stuff on the inside. You gotta have the meat, the concealer. You gotta have the lettuce and tomatoes, the, the blush and the highlight. Like you have to have all that stuff to make the perfect, perfect burger. I mean, yeah, you got a plain burger, it's still gonna be good. But for you to have that perfect, delicious, juicy, satisfying burger, oh my God. I put the right ingredients together, child. Am I hungry or like what's going on here? This burger analogy almost took me out. Like, dang. I'm finna call five guys. But just look how beautifully that blends into this foundation. Like, oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'm going to set those concealed areas with my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. Honey. <laughs> uh, I generally prefer to set my powders with a, um, my concealing powders with a sponge, but I put them all in the bag and I don't know where they are right now. And I don't feel like getting up liquid, so. Oh, hopefully this will set my face long enough for me to film these videos and may take this face right off because let's be real the face is coming right off right off Bruh. I'm kind of using that leftover concealer powder just to kind of like go over the face I'm not mad. I am not mad. Oddly enough, I feel like I see the luminosity. It's not even like a, I don't know what it is. Maybe like a glow from within kind of look, but it's not even glowy. I just feel like for some reason, in some way or somehow, it's like capturing the light and reflecting it from the skin. Cause I'm like, I don't have no highlighter on, I don't have anything on, but I feel like I'm highlighted. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I am not mad. It's very lightweight. I didn't smell anything. I probably should have smelled it before I wiped it off my hand, but I didn't smell anything. Like, I am not mad so far, okay? So let's, let's continue. I'm going to mix Fenty Mocha Mami and Coco Nari together. Together, together. Actually, no. Actually, yes, I'm gonna use my Fenty bronzers. Starting with Coconati. And just going over those areas. Listen, <laughs> period, purr, purr. I'm gonna take a uh, mocha mommy and just kinda deepen the depths, the depths of the cheeks. Okay, the face is sitting. If I do say so myself, the face is definitely giving something. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take my Colored Rain Power eyeshadow, eyeshadow, uh, blush duo, blush highlighter. Uh, this is the Prove My Loyalty palette. And child, this red looks real scary. Like, it's like straight up red. Okay, so I, I wanna look a little clownish. So I'm just gonna do a light situation. I 
I always feel like I say I'm gonna do light and then I go overboard. Um, I feel like it's not like OD, OD, is it? <laughs> Chat. Then I'm going to take my LA Colors uh, bronzer, which I use as a highlighter. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use that to add some zooiness to the cheeks. Okay. I haven't used this in a minute. I be forgetting how much I love stuff, you know, like. It's just such a flawless application. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, this is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna take a little bit of this white shade, this silvery white shade, and go on top just to kind of dramatize it. I'm actually really into that. It's giving Frozen, okay? It's giving the chocolate version of Frozen and we are here for it. So now that the face is done, we're gonna do the eyes real quick and then, oh my God, I feel like this video is really quick. Where am I tripping? I really want my makeup so fast now. Well, girl, first of all, you didn't do your brows. Let's talk about that. And I can always tell when it's a little more difficult for me to find the shape of my eyebrow, it's time to groom, child. Time to groom. Y'all, my brows look cray. And they're gonna stay cray because I'm not about to sit here and argue with y'all. I'm really not. I'm really not, okay? Mama got things to do. She has things to do. Throw on some eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna go in with my Alter Ego Goddess palette and I'm gonna do a really simple eye. Um, just because I'm going to be filming a clothing haul. Not a clothing haul, but uh, you'll see when I post it. Um, but I will be filming a haul, so um, I like to keep it neutral-ish for the most part, depending on how I feel that day. But I like to keep it neutral so that the outfits don't clash. Um, and also I'm wearing a neutral top, so. But isn't she cute? This top is from Shein. Um, and I was like, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go outside and wear it in the public this year. So I was like, let me go ahead and put it on for the video, child. I'm gonna take a plain gold shade and just slather that all over the eyes. Oh, that is really pretty though. Ooh. See, that's like what I expect shadows to look like. But I feel like I need to get over that because I feel like my past color reviews, I've been so stuck on texture. And I'm just like, girl, like things change. People wanna do new things and try different things. Like, girl, there are more than one way to do eyeshadow. So if you don't like it, that doesn't mean it's not good. This is what I'm talking about, like that smooth, flawless, silky brush of color on the eyes. Now see, I feel like I'll put a base like this and then layer like a chunkier uh, gold on top to give it texture, to give it shine and glitter. But this color, honey. Why do I not play with these palettes enough? Like, when I say these are applying like butter, and I don't even have a wet brush. So it's out here just buttering by itself. For no reason, just buttering. But, oh my God, look how like bright and vivacious it is. We love it. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then I'm gonna take this shade here. Gay, I think it's called. I'm gonna put that on my bottom lash line. You're gonna see how pigmented this is. Oh, this is nice. Why do I not play with these palettes enough, yo? That's kind of what happens. Like you get a new palette and you forget about all the other ones that you've had. 
I'm so glad I didn't get rid of this in my declutter because look here. These palettes are really good. Look at this color payoff. Like, are you a joke? Shades like this, for some reason, are always patchy. But this one is like bold, honey. Patchy wear. Not hair. <laughs> oh, I really like this. Um, and I'm going to take a brush and I kind of want to put something, maybe the shade right here, like more sparkly and lighter in the inner corner. Um, I don't know what color this white one's going to turn out to be. I just want some more dimension, child. This face, whole face is sitting. Let me tell you, <laughs> my original plan for this thumbnail was to do a very natural look like Shayla has. Where? My whole thumbnail is ruined because I got too excited Like, how is that finna happen, sis? With this bright eyeshadow on your eyes. We're going to add a little bit of this minted lip gloss just because it's right here. I'm, I'm gonna dab some of this Huda Beauty Anniversary Lipstick. Right here in the center. I don't want to do too much as the liner is not as dark as I would like for it to be. I top it with a little gloss. And this is the final look. Oh my God. Yo, the eyes are so... I promise you, this look was not even supposed to be about the eyes, but can we just have a moment of silence for this eyeshadow palette? Like, I was not expecting it to give like this. And it's such a beautiful color story. Um, lots of neutrals, lots of browns, and a pop of color. Like, it's a beautiful color story. And it's a solid palette. Like, okay, this is not about the palette. <laughs> um, but the face, honey, the face, oh, is definitely speaking to me. Like, I had no problems bending any of the products on it. No problems setting it. Everything looks good. Like, I am here for this. I'm definitely gonna have to try it a lot more. First of all, I need to get a better shade. That's number one. Because I wanna be able to layer it and build it up and see how it looks then. Child, this, this shade 26 ain't it for me. I, I hate to see it. Sorry to this foundation. I don't know thing. But all in all, I am definitely here for foundation. I definitely plan to play with it some more. Um, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. What else do you need to say? The proof is on your screen, okay? In the eyeshadow, alter ego. Like, this is really how you're doing it? Like, this palette is like really like quality. A lot of these palettes that I paid a lot more for don't have this kind of weight, this kind of substance. And y'all, they alter ego come for your necks like this? Wow, hate to see it. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you try the foundation or if you're interested in it at all. If y'all want to see Morphe at all. Personally, I don't really have no beef with Morphe. Actually, no, I lied because they're y'all supporting Jeffree Star. I wonder if he's still affiliated with them. All right, too much. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow the second channel. That's all my fucking period. Period. <laughs> Your support means everything to me and I am so, so grateful for all of you gems. Don't forget to follow my Patreon. Become a member if you support the gem squad. I appreciate y'all so much and I will see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs> It's the royalty for me. <laughs> Girl, you were so extra, child.